Ferrari's Charles Leclerc and Red Bull's Max Verstappen are fighting for the 2022 championship, and following the high-octane rivalry last year between Max and Lewis, many feel that 2022 has been quite tame in comparison. Max has previously stated that the respect between the two drivers has been the cause behind this. Leclerc, however, has a different opinion. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Leclerc cautions Verstappen about title fight turning ugly. While speaking to the BBC, Leclerc started off by explaining why his rivalry with Max has been civil so far. It depends how far your opponent is willing to go. How far is he willing to go? This year, either I had a big advantage in the championship, and then you were not really willing to take those risks, or he had a big advantage in the championship and he is not really willing to risk. Or I am not really willing to risk because I need to catch up points. He then explained why 2021 was different. So I feel the championship of last year was probably much more prone to see these types of things because it was so close until the very end. He signed off by suggesting that his rivalry with Max can change in the future. I would have expected us to be much more like this if the championship will be extremely close towards the end. If it's not finished, then we might see that at the end of the year. Fast feed. Mercedes driver George Russell hopes that they can add some things to the car after the summer break. But as with every team, this is not going to be very easy. Alfa Romeo's Guan Yu Zhou revealed that after F2, the deal was definitely not to continue with Alpine. Alfa and Alpine are quite big competitor brands, not just in Formula 1, but in general, so it was not easy to get out of Alpine, but I'm very happy that everything worked out well, because if I had another year, I'd be kind of stuck, the same now with Oscar. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko thought the speech with which Sebastian Vettel announced his departure was very strong. It shows that his interests are now going in a different direction. And of course, you also have to take into account that he didn't have a competitive place and probably wouldn't have found one, so the decision is absolutely the right one. Haas team principal Gunter Steiner stated that whenever someone accuses us of copying something, I always give the same answer. Do we have to copy Williams then? I don't want to offend Williams, but that car is a completely different concept. They are behind us in the championship. If we are going to copy something, copy the best team, and at the moment, that is Ferrari and Red Bull Racing. Do you think Alpine is a toxic team for young drivers? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.